Every year, Kings Island hosts a Halloween event called Halloween Haunt that takes place on weekends in October and November, but because of the, uh, you know, virus, they had to cancel it this year, and they substituted it with a new family-friendly event, and today I will be going over my experience at this event. Just a heads up. Tricks and Treats Fall Fest is a fully family-oriented event with no scare zones, actors, or haunted houses. As soon as you walk up to the park, you will notice that they have not turned their front entrance into a haunted house. They usually do this and it looks sick, but I guess because this event is family-oriented, they're not doing it this year. Which is fine, I guess, but yeah, it's definitely not ideal. And of course, since this is a Halloween event, it does have Halloween theming all around the park, such as orange and yellow flowers scattered across pathways and then these huge skeletons around the main entrance. Starting at noon, these small trick-or-treat stands will open. Whether you are a small child or a full-grown adult, you can go get something there. Most of them sell candy, but two of them sell bracelets and one of them even sells apples. Fun stuff, right? Another awesome thing that I notice is that they have specialty food items located all around the park that are unique to this event. Since I am rather picky, I just got a classic grilled cheese which comes with a normal grilled cheese sandwich with some tomato soup. The tomato soup was extremely watered down and tasted weird, but the grilled cheese was good, and it was an extremely good value. You get both of those for, I think, seven bucks. Either seven or eight, but either way, it was still a great deal. In censuses, a family-oriented event, most of the fun stuff happens inside of Planet Snoopy, and since I was trick-or-treating all day, I actually got to spend some time in Planet Snoopy and check out some of the rides that I rode back when I was a very small child. And most of the ride operators didn't even seem to care that I was over the height limit that is listed on the sign, so if you are looking for that elusive Great Pumpkin credit, I'd say that now is the time to get it. But that's really all there is to the brand new King Kings Island Tricks and Treats Fall Fest. Let me know if you think that they will continue this event next year, or they will just go back to the normal with Great Pumpkin Fest in the morning, and then Halloween Haunt in the evening. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time on Hang Time Thrills.